Okay, welcome back. We are in the soul car. And we're going to go and speak to the soul. There are all these soul husks dotted around, and Must stay you can actually keepers. use them Must to bargain for keepers. weapons. I'm not going to bother, because, you know, who on earth needs that kind of thing? Now, these whiz around for some reason. I think they damage you after a while if you actually get hit by them. Now, there's all these odd little buildings. Let's speak to this soul. Well, this is a lot worse than Sovngrad, even though it's got a very similar design. Let's try to get in here. Where'd you come from? I think you need a particular skill to get through here. Now, I'm going to try and use lightning bolts, because I think that's what you had to do. Yeah, that's right, to open these things. And what you get there is a bit of Jube's opus. Jube is the guy from Morrowind, of course. And you can find out from him exactly how he became Saint Jube. Ah, oh, petty soul gem, who cares? Who cares, right? Hunting bow, iron arrow, who needs that? And he got he became Saint Jude because he killed all the cliff raisers, every single one of them. Don't know if these get violent at some point. They're obviously not that good to be around. These are bone men, whatever they are. And they turn into... Well, quite decent treasure, in fact. They turn into soul gems. What's this? Ancient Nord Sword. It looks black for some reason. There's even dragon skulls all around the place. Piles of bones. It's not the most cheerful place. Ah, oh, why did I pick up that petty soul gem? Page 6 of St. Jube's Opus. So, this is what it's like on the other side. And here we get loads of rubbish treasure. Now, should I go and try and... The only reason why I'd, I would wander around these places is that I do want to go ahead and get all the pages of St. Jube's Opus. you meet him later on. Well, I don't know where he is particularly. I hope we find him. Yuck, I don't know why I picked that up either. What? Now let's have a look. Can we eat that? Is that an ingredient? Or is that just a soul husk? Hang on, let's have a look. See if it actually works as an ingredient. No. It does not. Did we speak to this guy before? Shall we wander up here? Oh, this is where we came in. Right, so let's go around this logically. Unfortunately, there's no map. So, 
Oh, actually, there's a local map. Brilliant. That's at least somewhat helpful. Let's start exploring this way. Okay, we obviously can't get round through this barrier, can we? That's obviously the absolute limits where we can go. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Oh, you go ahead and fight the bone men. I can't be bothered. So, I mean, I thought we'd be able to explore all of these, but obviously not. I haven't actually played this far before. All I've seen is, is numerous walkthroughs. Looks like you can mine these. And you can pick up a horse here. You can pick up a horse called Arvac as well. I'm just saying that just in case I get lost at some point. Now where is Serena? Obviously she doesn't want to hang around me. Makes me feel lonely. Right, we want to get to the top of this beast. Where'd you come from? On top of here there's a great prize. Where'd you come from? Of a of a soul gem, a black soul gem, brilliant. I know. I think what you can do is you just jump up here. Nope. That's exactly not what you do. Well, obviously I don't know what to do with, with those things then. It's always good to have a mystery. There's a bone man over there. He could be a friendly creature, but we assume not. Who's there? Hey, he completely disappeared. You know I heard something. And what's this? A greater soul gem. Search the chest for anything good. Nothing good. Okay, we've placed a lightning attractor. What's happening? Who's there? Where'd you come from? Is that all we needed? Oh look, we get a black soul gem as a reward. Is that it? Yes it is. I'm sort of hoping that we're going to run into a bit more of Jube's opus. But this is a large area to explore so we might not be able to find ev absolutely everything. Okay, let's go in here, shall we? Something about the bone men there. A life of servitude. Who's there? Where'd you come from? Where'd you come right, I thought there would be some way to get past that, but there isn't. Not that I can see anyway. That was just a random from? soul trapped person. You come from? Of course, if you think about it, all these people, they must have been trapped by necromancers. 
Okay, let's have a look in here as well. That is obviously where we need to go. Let's harvest a soul fisher. What does that do? Don't think I picked anything up. Who's there? I knew I heard something. Let's talk to this guy. Where'd you come from? Oh no, I've been soul trapped. I must be dead. Or a vampire, which I am. Have I been here before? Yeah, I've been here before. So let's go through this. I said I was going to go through this wall, didn't I? Now I'm lost. Ah, no, 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 I'm not lost. Fortunately, vampires don't... Well, this isn't really sun, I guess. This is a, ugh, a horrible black hole. Let's talk to this soul. Hello, Arvac. You've been soul trapped too. Should we follow Let's you? Kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. Some things are worth watching. So he's disappeared. Hi, Serena. So you got soul trapped. Got anything? Must be something you want, which is soul husks. Who's there? I knew I heard something. Fair enough, what do you have? Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Done and done. So he doesn't actually need any soul husks. I don't have any. This is him then. So, where'd you come from? Here is an additional page of Jube's opus. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? But where is Arvac's skull? I see plenty of skulls here, but not a horse's skull. My destruction, by the way, is pretty good. It's it's 100 because I'm a, a vampire, so I can afford to do all that. Beforehand, my destruction wasn't. Well, I didn't really concentrate on destruction skill, so didn't really get anywhere. 
Oh, look, there we are. There, we need to, to shoot that. I guess you're expected to have some sort of destruction skill by the time you get in here. More bone men. Glass war active immobilizing. No thanks. So all this stuff is just treasures. And not very good ones at that. Can we speak back to him? No. Wasting your time. Well, you got. You really don't have anything to do. Hate to say it. Right, let's move on, though. Prison ship, or was it before that? What do you want? How does anyone expect me to write my opus with all of these rooms? Usually these options? platforms have a couple of those bone what men coming up. Indeed. If I, I think these those are supposed pages, to be the great masters or sorry, not the great masters. We wouldn't be having this conversation. The Very people well, who control the soul, soul card, I've forgotten what their names are already. Couldn't hurt. Some call Here's another me neat Jib. lightning rod. Others call me Jib the Eradicator. Perhaps you've heard of me. I can't say that I'm surprised by your answer. Until I get my second volume published, no one will ever know of my achievements. It's a mist man. Book. I'd hardly call a 26 volume epic simply Wraith man? a book. Surely you've heard of the rise and fall of St. Jim the Eradicator, hero of Morrowind and savior of the Dunmer. Terrible. So we get a cool Simply black soul gem. I don't really need any more of these. I was in the midst of writing the second volume, and they just threw me That's into a grand this prison. Soldier. It's unfair. So what? What in the name of a vicar Good are you idea. All I remember is that damned remorse. You know, it's kind of depressing as well. Bursting into my home and sending me to their prison. Well, I assume so. Well, I we'll talk a bit about Jube's opus because I don't think I'm going to spend more of my time pistol. traipsing after exactly it's where it is. There are some walkthroughs around the place idea. on YouTube where you're told exactly Wait. That means where. The items are for Jube's Opus, and no. he gives you a All these gives you a months. bit of treasure, as I As call. Years. I don't even he gives you an amulet, which gives passed. you no, my a little bit of extra carry time. weight. Of course, my I've enchanted myself a decent amulet. I think it's called a carrying a sneak sapphire, 53 points and 58 uh, points exactly. sneak, and but that's a lot better can. than. Jube's thing only gives you 50 points of sneak, so Jube's amulet only gives you 50 points of sneak, so it's, you know, I can enchant things that are a bit better than when I was than him. Here, I felt myself falling, and I dropped the pages I had been holding. There were ten of them in all. Find them for me, please. I beg you. Say Jib, Jib the Eradicator, Jib the Magnificent. I've earned a lot I'm gonna of get those in titles here. thanks to my campaign against the Winged Menace. Yes, I'm speaking of the Cliff Racer, of course. Wretched things. They used to crisscross the skies over Morrowind like vermin. Nasty flying creatures with a habit of sneaking mm. upon the unwary. After I was free from prison, I decided I to rescued turn my her. life around. Give something back to the people of Morrowind. I saved her. It became quickly apparent that the best way I could help would be by 
wiping out the cliff racers. Indeed I was. I hunted down and killed every last one of them. It took years. Well, two or three arrows and I can take care of Harkon. So grateful to have the road safer again. They took to calling me St. Chirpen. Then the other names followed. At this rate, my first volume will be complete. What do you Don't mean? Give up. How do you know? Damn it, how could I be? She's told Harbour's daughter. Sure, okay, so needs her blood. Well, she's got plenty of blood. Or well, she could just donate, can't she? Where'd you come from? Well... I'll kill Harkin. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? My bow will better than Oriel's bow. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Done and done. Yeah, that's true. I'm looking in third person because I just like looking at this guy. Look at him with his little teeth. <laughs> yeah, you just hit her in the tomb for 2,000 years. She didn't go mad or anything, which is amazing. She doesn't even talk to herself. Where'd you come from? Who's there? Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? You come from? It's easy. Where'd you come from? 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 Who's there? I knew I heard something. Where'd you come from? Yep, okay, let's do that. Okay, they're called the 
Why haven't you pursued the prophecy? Yeah, let's just ask her a couple of things. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Done and done. Well, that's true. You got the Dawn Guard after you. So we can come here whenever we want. Who are they? There's one of them over there. I see. So necromancers actually... Okay, that kind of makes sense why people hate the necromancers then. So let's go and follow these handy arrows. These handy arrows will tell us where to go. Taller spires she was talking about. So let's go to this one first. Tallest buildings and there we shall defeat a keeper. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna charge up My magic dragon bow. The barrier should be gone now. Let's head back. I've given Serana a, a decent enough weapon to carry around. Oh, I've given her two daggers. She's, she get, comes equipped with one elven dagger. She's got two now. I haven't bothered to reinforce them because I don't expect her to do too much damage and she mainly uses her spells anyway. Right now, how do we get in here? 